Oh man, I have all the questions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those reality shifting or reshaping series that causes you to question what you see and, and, and try to make sense of things that don't make sense. So I'm curious what your relationship has been with some of this series' themes and how being part of this series may have disrupted your perspective of reality. Like for instance, when you, before doing this series, you saw something that you couldn't explain or make sense in your own life. Maybe perhaps it's a glitch in the matrix. Mm -hmm. Did you have the ability to move past it? Does it, or, or does it eat at you today? Do you actively work to try to figure it out? Don't you think that COVID, it would pretty much uh, sum up the glitch in the matrix that you're yeah. talking about for the entire world, for everybody on planet earth, more or less? Yeah. Uh, I, I, for me, that was definitely a big moment where what I thought was very stable ground became mm. spectacularly unstable mm. within a week. Uh, and what I thought was reality and what were the rules suddenly wasn't reality and that wasn't the rules. The rules were completely different. And so, you know, what I, I, what I think is great about this show and, and, and all really wonderful art is that it is able to talk about things that are part of the human condition, what we're all going through in our everyday lives, but hopefully put it in a sort of entertaining format. And in this case, mm -hmm. it's a properly genre bending, you know, wild ride of a show. It could be a sci-fi, could be a conspiracy thriller show, you know, it could be a domestic drama. And in fact, it's all of those things, but at the same time, very, very, very human. Yeah, I, I, I agree as well. I think we all always question what's real and what's not real. You know, most of the time we live it inside our head more than we live it in the outside world. And I think Peter Harness done a great job of talking about the human psychology and the human experience. And I know as playing Paul, when I came back from Berlin where we shot the show, it took me a while to adjust. You know, mm. what's real when I'm hugging my kids? Am I really hugging my kids? So I know what you felt like watching the show. Yeah. You start to question yourself. And I think that is a great job when you're making art and you're doing television. It should live outside of the medium that it's in. And it should have you look for those answers. Magnus is looking for answers. Henry is looking for answers. Joe is looking for answers. And so is Paul looking for answers. And they're going to the ends of the earth to try to find those answers where everyone's telling them, oh, that's not the answer that you're looking for. So these are the common conditions that the human goes through. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's made me more conscious of things, like, especially when it comes to, like, being a guarded person or me or being more honest. Because there, this this series kind of shows the the power from both sides. There's a great scene with Magnus and Alice where they talk about whether or not Mom will come home, mm. and then mm. Magnus says, "I I don't I don't know," and then she says, "Why don't you just tell me yes?" Uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't want to lie to you. So there's there, there's a lot to take away from that. Uh, maybe maybe it just kind of comes down to the company you're with and the people that you trust. But I don't know. I think about that uh, as a result of the show. How whether, great that it, how uh, great that it's a show that made you think, though. You know, you, it didn't just wash over you. I, I, you know, I I love shows that you have to lean into and participate in, or that they in, inspire you. In some way, you you know, you finish the show and you you're still thinking about it the next day and then the next week, and suddenly it's part of, you know, how your life is evolving. I think that's fantastic. I, I feel, honestly, I feel like that's really what art can do if we're lucky. You know, obviously, there's the entertainment factor as well. Like this is very cinematic and it's got amazing production value and all the rest of it. You could just watch it on that level. But I, I'm absolutely certain that Peter Harness, who wrote the show, was hoping to inspire reactions like the one that you had, you know, so that it provoked conversation and thought and meaningful uh, looks at our own lives. 